So now that we're mounted on the wall and supplying power to the charger, the next step is gonna to be to connect to the Wi-Fi using the mobile app. So I'm gonna pull up my phone screen here now and show you that setup process. So the first step here is just to download the ChargePoint app from the App Store. And we're gonna go ahead and open the app. So in order to connect the app, we're gonna sign up and create an account. So once you've input all your information, you should have green check marks everywhere. Click I understand and agree to the privacy policy in terms of service and then click next. This is asking for your phone number to verify your account. So it should send you a four digit code. So you type the code in and just wait a second here. It says your account is verified and okay. So at the bottom you can see there's a check box that says I have a charge point home. So we're gonna go ahead and check that and then click next. Um, if you'd like to add a payment method, then you could do that here. But in this case, we're just gonna skip this for now. And you can also add an Apple wallet, but again, we're just gonna skip that step for now. So here you can add an EV and this will allow you to estimate range and cost of charging. So let's go ahead and click add EV. In our case, we have a Tesla and it's a Model Y. Color not available. Okay, so the next step is to click save. And you can either choose to allow notifications or not allow notifications. For now, let's just skip that and click next and would like to send notifications, don't allow. You're ready to charge, let's go. So it says select installation type, how is your charger installed? And in our case, it is a plug-in. In our case, we have a 60 amp breaker. So it's connected to the charger, and now it's gonna look for the Wi-Fi here. So you can select your Wi-Fi. So now you're just gonna go ahead and type in your password and then click join. So it's joining the Wi-Fi network. Now it's gonna show you a location of your house on the map. Click next. So it says some of the benefits are you can schedule charging when electricity is cheapest, set reminders to plug in, or track all of your charges in one place. So we'll click OK. And there we go. So now it says that the charger is ready to charge. If we take a look here at the settings, um, we have the name of the charger, your address, you can add a utility plan, your utilities pricing, the power source, which would be either plugged in or hardwired, the breaker amperage. And if you click on about charger, it'll give you the serial number and model number of your charger. If you need to reconfigure the Wi-Fi, there's a setting for that. Reboot the charger or to reset the unit to factory defaults. You also have the option from the main screen here to remind to plug in. So right now that's set to off, but you can click on reminder and then input a time here. You can also schedule charging. So if you select that option, um, you can select a plan based off of your utility or set a schedule here on weekdays and weekends. So if we go back to the home page and click on the hamburger once again, we could see there's account charging activity. So this will give you a history of any charging that you've done. So, so far there's been no activity. We can also see recently visited locations where we've charged or favorited spots where you've charged.
All right, so we officially have both mounted and installed the unit as well as connected to the mobile app through the Wi-Fi. Um, you can see the steps are really easy. The mobile app is super intuitive and walks you step by step through the process. And that went really smoothly and there was no issues. So I definitely appreciate the software end of things. You can see here that when we connected to the mobile app, that the charger is now pulsing a green color and that's showing that we're ready to charge a car. So hopefully this video was helpful to you. Definitely make sure to check out the description below for all the information covered in the video. And if you still have any questions or comments, then make sure to leave those in the comment section below. If you found any value in the video, consider giving the video a thumbs up. And if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, consider doing that to get more electric vehicle content in the future. So thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.